What's up, YouTube? It's ICU. Today, Apple has seeded the first beta iteration of iOS 13.3 to registered developers. We're going to talk about the firmware in today's video, how it impacts jailbreaking, and I also wanted to stress right off the bat at the very beginning of this video to avoid 13.3 at all costs. It doesn't matter whether it's this beta, a subsequent beta, or the public release. Avoid updating to iOS 13.3 if you're at all interested in jailbreaking iOS 13. Now, with that said, on this iPhone 11 Pro Max here, I just wanted to go and of settings general software update i do already have the beta profile installed on this device and you'll notice it pulls back 13.3 developer beta. Now, this beta release comes after Apple issued iOS 13.2 to the general public, which includes support for AirPods Pro, Deep Fusion for the iPhone 11 series, and so much more. But it also made changes for the worst to multitasking. iOS 13.3 is expected to fix that, and it will also contain performance enhancements and bug fixes. Other outward facing changes are also expected to be added in subsequent releases, but for now, Inside of settings, basically it just says, quote, this beta version of iOS 13 contains bug fixes and improvements, and that's it for now. iOS 13.3 isn't expected to be released anytime soon, but it will be jailbreakable if you have a device like the iPhone 10 or lower powered by the A11 CPU or lower, which I have right here via CheckRain. So CheckRain is going to be essentially the permanent iOS 13 jailbreak that is slated to be released later this week. Be sure to subscribe if you have yet to, to be notified the very second that drops. But essentially because it makes use of a very low level boot ROM exploit, Apple simply cannot patch it with firmware updates and it will persist through every version of iOS so long as Apple supports those devices. So. A11 and lower will be jailbroken with the caveat that of course they'll have to be a tethered jailbreak via check rein. However, as I discussed recently, I actually released two separate videos on the topic. The first one was actually just talking about iOS 13.2's changelog. And then the second one was how to downgrade 13.2 back to iOS 13.1.3. I mentioned that 13.2 does contain a critical kernel vulnerability fix. And that one kernel vulnerability could be exploited and rolled into a potential jailbreak. Of course, there would be other things needed to actually get a jailbreak fully functioning, but essentially the groundwork could be there for a jailbreak on iOS 13.1.3 and lower, something that is semi-untethered, so to speak, meaning you don't actually have to have access to a computer to essentially re-enable your jailbreak. You would just do so through something like Uncover, which is what we're used to here on the channel. That's what every single recent jailbreak release has been. So if you do have an older device, again, like an A11 iPhone 10 or older that is supported by CheckRain, but you don't wanna to have to deal with the tethered aspect of it, definitely be on iOS 13.1.3 or lower and do not, do not upgrade to iOS 13.3 beta. And if you guys wanna know how to downgrade back to 13.1.3, the supported firmware, it will be linked in your cards right now. Of course, remember though, a jailbreak is not out yet. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. I will keep you guys fully notified and I'll let you know the very second anything comes of it. And on that subject, the very first link down below in the description is our jailbreak status checker page. It will either contain a red no, like it does right now, or a green yes once the jailbreak is released and it will have complete download links. I highly recommend bookmarking that page and checking back frequently because it will be updated much faster than I can let you guys know a jailbreak is out here on the channel for obvious reasons. So with all of that said, um, I hope this video helps you guys out. Remember the key takeaway here is just to avoid iOS 13.0 three, especially if you are on a newer device because it is not supported by CheckRain. Worst possible case scenario though, if you have an iPhone 10 or older, it will be able to jailbreak with the single caveat that it is going to be a tethered jailbreak. And if you want to avoid or circumvent that, definitely be on iOS 13.1.3 or lower. And also on that subject, yes, you will be able to jailbreak through CheckRain on iOS 13.1.3, obviously. And the best part is that you'll be able to jailbreak with CheckRain first and then use something like an updated version of Uncover once it is released that makes use of the aforementioned kernel vulnerability to essentially make your jailbreak semi-untethered. So great news there. Um, the jailbreak community is just on fire lately, guys, and I am so excited for all of the upcoming releases. I hope you are too. Let me know down below in the comment section what you're most looking forward to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.